Hey everyone, it's Katie with One Music School and today we're going to learn some basic finger picking patterns so that you can finger pick any song on the guitar. So I'm going to use a metronome that I have on my phone. It's called Seven Metronome and I like it because it's clean, it's simple, and it's free. You can find a bunch of different metronomes that are free on your app store, also online. It's a great resource to have and I highly encourage that you practice with a metronome regularly. We have to understand where our root note is of the chord that we're using. Root note just means the start of your chord. So if I have a C chord, I have to find my C note or the lowest C note. That's really going to help where your thumb is going to pluck. So I have a C chord right here, and I'm going to pluck the A string. But the reason why it's not an A, it's because it's on the third fret that makes it a C note. So that is my root note. I'm going to choose to pluck the G and the B string with my index finger and my middle. Like that. So you could use that instead, that totally works. I just wanted to use something just a little bit lower on the register. You can choose whatever strings that you would like because if your fingers are in the chord, you really can't do any harm. So what I'm going to do is we're going to start off with our quarter notes. And we have one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, four. So let's try that with the metronome. So I'm going to be plucking with my thumb first, thumb, pointer, middle, then my pointer again. So you'll get used to being able to switching between each finger, thumb, pointer, middle, pointer, thumb, pointer, middle, pointer. So let's try that with the exercise. So now let's try switching chords while we're finger picking. So like I said before, you do have to find your root note. That's probably the best way to start finger picking is if you can find your starting note with your thumb. It, you, there's really no rules how to do it, but that's just something how I like to teach my students how to find a finger picking pattern or make their own up. So like I said before, we need a root note. In the graphic over here, you can see that this is an entire guitar fretboard or a portion of it from here to about here. So you can look on the grid and see where your fingers are and find where your root note is depending upon what chord you're playing. So for the C, like I said, it's right here on the third fret of the A string. I'm going to be switching between a C, F, a C, and a G chord. So here's our C, there's our root note. That finger picking pattern is going to be the same as the simple exercises that we did. For an F, I just bring it down a little bit and then on the grid you can see that it's circled the third fret of the D string, that is going to be my F. That's my root note. So now my thumb is going to be plucking the D string, but my pointer in my middle, just to keep it simple, I'm going to be plucking the exact same strings as, as I did before for the C chord. When I go to the G, I'm going to be using this G, you can G use whatever G you want, but I just like this transition. If I look on my grid, I'm looking for the lowest G note and that happens to be the third fret of the E string. So there is my root note on my G right there. I'm going to be plucking the same strings with pointer and middle, but my thumb moves to the root note, G. So I'm going to play the simple finger picking pattern, the two quarter notes and the one half note. my F, so my thumb moves down one closer to my toes. Then we have our C again. Four, one, two, three, four, G. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. So 
I'm going to be playing that with the metronome, so the exercise is next. So just try to keep your fingers within the chord. If your thumb or other fingers just accidentally pluck a string that you didn't mean to, it sounds like you meant to do it because your fingers are in the chord. You really can't go wrong. Let me know if you want some more finger picking patterns and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.